We're discovering a world of ice that makes you feel like you're in a Disney movie today on At Your Leisure. I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder. We've discovered one destination that will change the way you think of winter. From there, Steve Hewen will preview one event that will change the color of your world from white to red. Finally, what are the newest inventions that will turn your next outdoor adventure upside down? We'll talk to their creators and find out how they work. It's a frozen world. At Your Leisure is next. Well, welcome to At Your Leisure. We're here in Midway, Utah, just at the Soldier Hollow Resort at the Ice Castle. And this is the most amazing sculpture, and light and sound and fun place to explore. I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Jaden Kinder. And this amazing place is built all of ice. So just water basically is sitting here. It's spectacular. It's actually been grown in place. It is all handmade. Let's find out a little more about it. So the way this got started is my friend and business partner Brent Christensen was in his backyard. He moved from California to Utah and started making ice, things out of ice in the backyard. Made a slide in an ice skating rink one year and figured out through that process basically the way that we build these, which is unique. We actually use icicles as the building medium. We'll make about 10,000 icicles in a day and fuse it to the ice and then we sprinkle it with water and the whole thing grows in mass. Um, but it goes a lot faster and a lot bigger because of the, the way we use icicles to build with. It's different and unique enough that people, they try to find something to associate it with. People would walk through and they'd be like, oh man, I feel like I'm in Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Or they're, they're saying, I, I feel like I'm in Narnia right now. We've got one of the largest ice castles we've ever built. We got a maze in the back, a bunch of small little courtyards, tons of places to explore, some new water fountains, and an awesome slide. People come through and they're just amazed that you could build something like this. It's all just 100% ice. If it melted right now, or the PVC pipe that brings the water would fall over. It's a, it's a lot of work to build one of these. Today, especially, I'm thinking about how much work it was. But when people come through and they're amazed and they they thank you for building it. We get that all the time where people are just, they're just like, thank you so much for building this. And you know, that, that's kind of what keeps us going. This place is just amazing. We can't wait to go tour. But first we found this throne. Yep. We're the king and queen of ice right now. We can control the entire kingdom right from here. <laughs> Before we go touring, we need to take a look at our travel adventure. Yeah, Steve Human is going to take us from all this beautiful snow and ice to down to some red rocks. Well, thanks, guys. I'm Stephen Human. Now, right now, much of the West is a white frozen wonderland and that's how we want it this time of year. But sometimes we want to have a little bit different adventure, especially when we got a four by four on hand. We have an event to tell you about that's going to change your color scheme a lot. It's happening in a couple weeks. It's called the Winter 4 by 4 Jamboree. And I'm going to tell you why you and your family want to find yourselves there. Winter 4x4 Jamboree is a great way to get out of this inversion that you see behind me and go down to southern Utah to Hurricane and have a great time doing the trails and having a good fun weekend with friends and family. It's going to be a great time. It's, it's mostly all rock down there. There's some sand at Sand Hollow. A lot of good sand down there too to play in too. So it's, it's a great time and it's going to be from mild to wild depending upon what you want to do. January gets a bad rap most of the time because it's a bleak month of the year that follows the holiday season when everyone is joyful. January does have things to offer though, particularly if you know where to look. 
The Winter 4x4 Jamboree, held every year out of the St. George area, delivers on every adventure checklist you could compile. And yes, it's held in January, on the 22nd and 23rd to be exact. Trail rides for every skill set take riders into the rocks and sand of this monumental landscape, introducing visitors to a sunset world of contrasting color that includes the reds and origins of the sandstone, complemented by the greens and blues of nature. Plus, for such a dry area, you're likely to run into plenty of water, which will make your trip all the more memorable. Today, in preparation for the event, we are running Barracks Trail, an awe-inspiring journey along a stream that includes numerous water crossings compiled with the views that are quintessentially Western. The landscape is straight out of your imagination, though it's even more impressive than anything your mind could conjure. I love Sand Hollow. There's great trails out in the Sand Hollow area. There's great play area out there. The dunes are just wonderful down there, and a lot of good folk out there having a good time. For Matt Big Sarge Westrich, president of the Utah Four Wheel Drive Association, the Winter 4x4 Jamboree is the culmination of a year of work and preparation. Each trail needs to be checked and rechecked before rigs can adventure into the wilds of the desert. Food needs to be prepared, and coordinating this many 4x4s is a massive undertaking all on its own. For Sarge, though, it doesn't feel like work. This is a part of his life that has years of memory behind it for him and his family. The Jamboree is a way for them to share that with others. Well, as a disabled vet, I can't ski anymore. So I can't do my running anymore, but I can build a nice Jeep. I can go out with the family, take them with me, and you can see the views and petroglyphs and things that you will never, ever see from cruising down the highway. Every turn in the trail brings with it new views, new experiences, and new friends. Events like the Winter Jamboree become the perfect venue for discovering all of those things. You can find a route to match your tastes, you'll be greeted by sights you've never seen, and you'll make friendships that could very well last the rest of your life. There's something about a rugged trek through the unknown paths of the West that creates the perfect moment of adventure, and the perfect invitation is here in the form of the Jamboree all taking place in a couple of weeks in the heart of January. Utah's trails are America's trails. And the public lands down there that we use are just absolutely wonderful. The BLM and the state parks do a wonderful job of maintaining the areas down there. And it's, it's just beautiful. And that's, that's what gets me is I, I grew up in the Midwest. It was all flat. If you wanted to play, you played in mud, a few little, little hills no beautiful mountains like Utah. And I just love getting out there in the beauty of nature down there in southern Utah. The, the wilderness, the animals, the history that is down in that area is just absolutely wonderful. Remember, the Winter 4x4 Jamboree is taking place January 22nd and 23rd outside St. George, Utah. You can sign up and see all of the trails at winter4x4jamboree.com. This will be a great adventure for your family, so check it out. We hope to see you there. We're going to be down there filming, so come up and say hi. Show your AYL stickers. It's going to be a great time. Well, I'm Stephen Hewen for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have this week's product review. The Boat Show and Water Sports Expo is here. Shop, compare, and save on hundreds of 2016 boats. It's your best time to buy. Meet and watch wakeboard pros ride the rail jam. The Boat Show, Thursday, February 11th through Sunday the 14th at the Southtown Expo. The place to buy new boats and accessories with special show financing. ABC4 Utah and CW30 invite you to the Boat Show and Water Sports Expo, February 11th through the 14th in Sandy. The Boat Show is here, better climb the board. The Utah Farm Bureau has always been there to fight for the needs of its members. With discount programs on items ranging from vehicles and ATVs to health and wellness. The membership fees aren't big, but the results are. We've been around since 1916, and we're not leaving anytime soon. Utah Farm Bureau. We work for those who work to feed the world. Ever wanted to go on a vacation to Mars? What about a visit to the Old West? Impossible, right? Well, forget what you think is real. In southern Utah's Kane County, other worlds are just an ATV ride away. The Old West lives on in every sunset. From the downtown streets of Little Hollywood to the vistas that have inspired the world, never find yourself closer to home and yet farther than you've ever been. 
Southern Utah's Kane County, where anywhere is possible. Are you pushing the limits of riding? Are you holding the steepest side hills? Carving the toughest lines in the deepest powder? The 2016 ski Do sleds. Are you riding? Ski do. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're up here in the mountains of Utah and we have a brand new Honda to show you. It's the new Pioneer 1000. And this is really a cool machine. It's not a sport machine or anything like that, but it does seat five, believe it or not. And it also has a huge carrying capacity. So come on, let me show you all about it. One of the first things you notice on the machine is that it's actually a four-door machine with these really nice latches on it, very well finished, top to bottom. But you have three seats along here for comfort, you have two in the back, and then look at this dash. You've got your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, uh, four-wheel drive diff lock, and it even has a turf mode on it. It's very easy to switch it in with this gate shifter from reverse high and low, and then look at this button over here. This is what you don't see on most machines, is that it has an automatic transmission, and so you can drive this thing around in auto and never shift it if, if you don't want to. But say you're kind of coming up to a hill and you want to gain a little speed, get up the RPM, well, you can hit one of these paddle shifters and quickly shift it down a gear and start climbing that hill. Now, if you don't do anything, it will, it will revert back into automatic mode, but if you continue to shift manually, it will stay in the manual mode. Now, here in the back, you're like, what other seats are you talking about? Well, this is what's really unique about this machine. You can see you have a large cargo area here, nice and deep, but you also have these doors that open up. And then once you get those out of the way, you have these jump seats here that open up. You've got your cushion there, your seat belts here, and you got plenty of area to sit down and go for a ride and take the kids out with you. But when you're done with it, you just put the thing back away and you're ready to go out and go four-wheeling again and carry everything that you want to bring with you. Now this back area has a thousand pound load capacity and it has a 2,000 pound towing capacity with that hitch. The other thing that's really unique about this machine is that it has an auto leveling suspension on it. So if you put a lot of people in the back or a lot of gear, it's actually gonna level out the machine so that it's not riding you know, with the front wheels bouncing off the ground. It also has a full independent A-arm suspension on it, so it's gonna handle and ride really well and be awesome for rock crawling. Well, let's get this thing out on the trail and see how it really does. Well, if you'd like to check out one of these new Honda 1000s, get out to Stedman's in Tooele. This is really a cool machine, but they've got all the different models of Honda out there they could show you, plus everything else. Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. It's out there. Something is definitely out there. Whatever it is, it's big. I won't play. I swear, we got so close I could smell it. But then, poof, it was gone. Right. It exists. The new Honda Pioneer 1000 with the best-in-class engine and six-speed fully automatic dual-clutch transmission. Pioneer 1000 from Honda. Last winter, mountain riders rediscovered the benefits of the four-stroke power plant. The smooth and predictable throttle response, seemingly never-ending delivery of power and torque, 
and perhaps most importantly, Yamaha's legendary reliability and durability. Now those coveted attributes are joined by a dramatically improved MTX Mountain Series of snowmobiles. The new 2016 SR Viper MTX. World Championship Performance, World Championship Durability. Put some adventure in your life and attend the Sportsman's Vacation and RV Show February 18th through the 21st at the Southtown Expo. See hundreds of new RVs, motorhomes, travel trailers, and accessories. Buy at the show and save. Take advantage of special show financing. Find hunting, fishing, and travel destinations. Gourmet and Dutch oven cooking classes. Register to win an Alaskan fishing trip. ABC for Utah and CW30 invite you to the RV Show February 18th through the 21st. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here at the Ice Castles in Midway. Yep, and that's just uh, a little bit south of it. It's actually at Soldier Hollow. And this place is absolutely amazing. You can come up here, they've got music playing, they've got the lights going, and it is just a spectacular thing to come and see. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's take you on a tour. What am I expecting to see? Yeah. Elsa and her sister, and the whole castle. Looks like the ice cave from Star Trek where that big monster chases him. <laughs> this is where I can dig in and make my winter home. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. It's so, it's got all the different colors around us and like all the music playing, it's really cool. So you could go and like just explore all the different caves and see where they lead to and see if they go out somewhere or just like stay in a little old kind of thing. Talk about a place that your kids can come and explore and, and come up with all kinds of wild and crazy ideas, huh? <laughs> it's just spectacular. Just looking at all the different icicles and how they've formed and there's some going up and down and just amazing. But there is the abominable snowman in there. Here's a longer one over here. Not cool. <laughs> I really like the music because it adds to the ambiance of what's going on. Ow! <laughs> I'm following my daughters. It's not really a wise idea. If I get stuck, do I have to wait till spring to come out? He would lay on his stomach and he would like inch his way through and then we were going out this cave and he just fell <laughs> on his head and it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful in there. The snow is a great effect, though. <laughs> it was nice that they added that. <laughs> Don't you wish you'd have brought your snow boots like your dad told you to? We're at the North Pole, I think, and we've got our... Uh, Santa Claus snow slide. We're going to take a ride on the alpine slide on our bums. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> well, man, this place is it's like Goblin Valley made of ice. It is so much fun here. There's all these nooks and crannies and places to explore, isn't there, Jaden? Yeah. A lot of tunnels and the snow is really coming down. I, I, it makes it awesome, but also wet. So make sure you wear warm clothes, waterproof, solid boots, and uh, come prepared. Unlike our daughter who wore her sneakers. Yeah, come prepared and it's a blast. You really have a great time. So now we're gonna to go to our trailhead adventure. We're gonna find out about the future of outdoor adventure. And it's brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com, and it's the place to get all your fun accessories for your motorcycle or ATV. There's a saying that necessity is the mother of all invention, and that goes for the outdoors as well. Where a need arises, you can always be sure someone will come up with an idea to meet it. For outdoor inventors, the need can be something as simple as keeping warm or making four by fours perform to new heights. Men like Dale Lewis, Chris Duffin, and Dan Whittington have all seen areas where outdoor gear and experiences could be improved. But instead of sitting on the sidelines and complaining about the status quo, they each decided to go their own way and see how they could improve things for the rest of us. They started with a need, a 
and end it with some pretty inventive solutions. My oldest son was working in North Dakota on the oil rigs and he called up and he was like, Dad, I'm freezing. I'm wearing six layers. So that was really one of the big kind of instigators on, on coming to find this, this solution to that problem. Dale developed a new polymer designed specifically for heat retention and moisture evacuation. And that became the base for Fortress Clothing, a collection of cold weather gear with an impressive range of uses. We would go up to Huntington Reservoir, drill through four feet of ice, jump in through the ice in minus 11 to minus 20 degree weather, get out and within 35, 45 seconds, you're comfortable. You're not dry, you're wet, but it doesn't matter because you're comfortable. It's just an underlayer that I would just wear under like a thin um, outer layer and it completely changed everything. It just made me warm, which sounds kind of crazy to go from being freezing cold and miserable to just putting on a, just a thin layer and being perfectly normal, but it made a world of difference. And so now my husband's happy, I'm happy because we can do all these things outdoors together. For Chris Duffin, the problem wasn't the temperature but how the elements impacted his gear. Sometimes protecting the simplest of tools can save thousands in unexpected damage. I had a ratchet strap in the back of my truck, went to tie something down, and it was so rusted up that it didn't work. Well, what I've done is I've made what they call a strap wrap. And what it is is a bag that covers up your ratchet straps and keeps the ratchet from the elements, you know, snow, mud, rain, they're all made out of marine grade vinyl, marine grade zippers, high quality stuff. Those strap wraps help keep ties in peak condition for securing OHVs on trailers. But what about the vehicle doing the pulling? Dan Whittington chose to innovate on the engine side of things, potentially saving recreationist money at the gas pump. Driving along one day and I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I put a, a ducted fan inside of an intake, what that would do for gas mileage. But it couldn't just run at one speed all the time, it had to be variable. After six months of design and testing, Dan came up with AirLutions technology. It's a variable fan that can increase power and performance while improving gas mileage at the same time. So then we went to starting putting those in the Jeeps and the trucks. I put one in my truck. That's when we started noticing the, the really good pulling power, the better performance. And it all started with a simple idea on how to meet a specific need. Necessity is the mother of invention. And in the outdoors, these needs are many and diverse. When inspiration hits, you can let the idea slip away and give in to doubt, or you can follow in the footsteps of these outdoor inventors and take recreation into the next century. It's fun when people call you and say, I love your product. Don't give up. Go for it, you know? There's no failure, it's just a learning lesson. If it doesn't work, try something else. It just takes a lot of perseverance, a lot of hours. So many people have come up to me and said it doesn't work, it can't work. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. If you get, if you're quit, what can I say? Sit at home and wait for something to happen or somebody else to do it. And you know, there's nothing worse than saying, I had that idea, but I never did anything with it. From the trail end, I'm Terry Wood. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. in the basin with the Ute Reservation Skin Starvation That Duchesne County life In the mountains there's only one way Through the tightest trees steepest climbs and deepest drifts And always go higher and further than before Tucked away just outside of Cedar City, Utah, are two of Southern Utah's best kept secrets, Canaraville Falls and Kolob Canyons. 
the rare scenic views create beautiful backdrops to capture the perfect selfie. Get your selfie to Canaraville Falls or Kolob Canyons and get in on one of Utah's best kept secrets. Go to visit cedarcity.com and access your adventure. Come into Race City today and find the RV that will define your family in 2016. Prices at Race City are the best of the year with our 2015 blowout, where you will never pay MSRP. Drive home this new Cyclone 3418, regularly priced $86,949, but Race City blowout priced at $69,559. That's a monthly payment of $396. Right now is the best time to get into a new RV, Race City RV off Riverdale Road in Roy, RaceCity.com. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are here at the Ice Castles at Soldier Hollow out by Midway and it is just amazing. We've been enjoying it so much but right now we have to talk about our calendar of events coming up. And what we have is the winter 4x4 Jamboree in St. George or Hurricane and uh, it's going to be so much fun down there. We're going to go four-wheeling. We'll take the new hillside 4x4 out and see what it can do. The Jamboree is going to be so much fun, and we are giving away a family pass to one of our viewers right now, and the winners are the George Rivera family. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> we will get to see what they think of the Jamboree when we're down there. We'll interview them and... and see if they have as much fun as we're going to be oh, having. I, I hope they do. That's right. Yep. And speaking of fun, we have the ultimate trip coming up that we're going to be giving away. We're giving away an RV vacation from Ray City RV to go down to the happiest place on earth. We're going to have, you're going to have an RV for seven days, stay in the Anaheim Resort for four days and park the RV, and then also four three-day park passes oh. to go have an absolute great time. Is that, a, is that a spring break fun or what? That sounds awesome. So you can register for it at our website, AYLTV.com. You can go to our Facebook page, sign up there. We'll also be at the Boat and RV Show doing sign-ups there as well. So we're going to give you lots of chances to win this prize, and it is going to be a lot of fun. Somebody's going to have a great time. So go to AYLTV.com and sign up. But right now, we've got to take a look at next week's show. It's an epic adventure across the West, and it begins next week right here on At Your Leisure. Chad and Rhea are setting out by RV for an incredible month of Western fun, exploring the Bay Area like never before and finding hidden adventures that will make you want to hit the coast. We'll also be starting our next big vacation giveaway, so you won't want to miss AYL next week. Well, we've been enjoying the ice castles so much, and now we're going to end up with a hot cup of cocoa and a cinnamon roll. Yeah, they have all kinds of fun treats after you've been playing out here in the cold. Nothing's better than some, some nice hot cocoa, right? That's right. We've been sliding and crawling and slipping around, and it's been awesome. Yeah, and you really need to get up here because, you know, it only lasts for a couple months, maybe, you know, mid-February or so, or end of February at best. And so you need to get out here soon because if Mother Nature gets too warm, gets too warm this is going to start thawing. So they plan on the middle to end of February, but who knows if it's if it stays cold, we could be have it longer. Yeah, but don't but wait. Get up here and have fun now. That's right. It's beautiful. Get it's out of the muck of Salt Lake and come up here and enjoy yes, the mountains. Yes, come enjoy this beautiful sight. Now this has been great fun out here, but we've got to go. But remember, get out and create your own adventures outdoors at your leisure. Is AYLTV.com, all these different. Well, never mind. <laughs> Get out and create your own adventures. Let's just do that at your leisure, too. Hey, that's what I thought. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.